into work this morning. Michelle, what's the rest of the day looking like? Yeah, it's a damp start, but the good news is it doesn't last all day. Let's take a look at the conditions. We'll start first with our Newport camera here, and this is a view or lack of a view from the Hotel Viking camera in the fog this morning. Not only fog, but rain. We see that in our North Situate camera. So uh, we're going to have windshield wipers on for the drive into work this morning. Those scattered showers are going to continue to move across, and it won't be until probably 7, 8 o'clock in the morning that the back edge will start to move across Rhode Island. So between 8 and 10 o'clock, this rainfall going to be shutting off across Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts. So that rain and fog uh, lingering just into the morning commute and then coming to an end with wet travel expected for early this morning. Then it turns into some beautiful weather for this afternoon and tomorrow highs will be in the middle 60s, which is uh, really warmer than normal. We are keeping an eye on Sunday. As I mentioned, I had to make an adjustment to that uh, Sunday forecast. It looks like we could get a round of rainfall that may impact much of the day and with cooler temperatures in the 50s, it'd be but on the raw side. Watch for some poor visibility this morning. We've got uh, fog that's dropping down our visibility to about a quarter mile Newport, New Bedford. It's below a mile right now in Smithfield and in Taunton. Once the front clears, all of that will be a non factor. It'll all move out. So that happens again by the end of the morning commute. We're in the mid and upper 50s in Smithfield and in Providence. You get down to the coastline, 65 degrees right now in Westerly. That's warmer than what the normal high is. Add in some sunshine this afternoon. We'll see highs in a few spots to get up between 65 and 70. So rain at 7 o'clock, some lingering showers at 8 and 9 o'clock, and then after that, the sky's clearing. Lower 60s at 10 a.m., mid 60s by lunchtime. Here's our front right now, and again, going to be working its way eastward behind it. Some dry and cooler air at 8 o'clock in the morning. That area of low pressure in front will be lifting right out of Rhode Island and off the shoreline. And no notice at lunchtime, sunshine for all but the Cape, and then even there, they get into a sunny sky for the afternoon. High pressure is going to build in behind that front. That's going to keep us dry and cooler for overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. 6 a.m. right overhead going to ensure another nice day for tomorrow. This afternoon, a real turnaround from where we are right now. Mid 60s in uh, Charlestown, Narragansett at about 65, 67 in Tiverton, mid to upper 60s in Woonsocket, West Greenwich and West Warwick. How about Bristol? 68 degrees, bright and breezy. West winds gusting up to 25 miles per hour this afternoon, but it'll be a mild wind direction for us. It will be up into the mid to upper 60s. Well, things start to cool down this evening. We'll be dropping through the 50s and eventually overnight our lows will fall to the lower 40s, all happening under clear skies and diminishing winds. They'll be out of the west at about five miles per hour. So Saturday looks dry. This is noon on Saturday. A mixture of sunshine and a few clouds as clouds increasing Saturday evening, but still dry into any Saturday night plans you might have and then by the time you wake up Sunday morning, all that green, that's rainfall, and it may last into the daytime. In fact, some of our computer models bringing some heavier showers our way throughout the day on Sunday. So something we'll be watching and see if that trend continues. It's reflected here in that seven day forecast. So temperatures in the upper 60s for today. We'll see mid 60s with plenty of sunshine for tomorrow. Beautiful day from start to finish. Nice crisp air in place on Friday. Sunny skies during the day. Highs in the lower 60s. Now showers around on Friday night, but it doesn't look like a big deal. Just a few of them as temperatures cool into the lower 50s and then eventually lower 40s. We'll see sunshine on Saturday and again that chance for rain 